This is 3 Minute Math with Mr. White. In this video today I'm going to go over a concept called synthetic division, which is a shortcut for how to divide polynomials by a simple linear binomial. So here's the first example we're going to work through very carefully where we have a polynomial and we're dividing it by a linear binomial. Now linear means in the x to the first binomial. Now sometimes instead of seeing it in fraction form we write it as this polynomial and we use the divide by symbol and here's our linear binomial. So you might see it either way. So let's get right to it. First thing you do is you take your linear binomial and you find the zero on that. So you set it equal to zero and x equals two is the zero that we need and just write the two all by itself. So what you're about to see is how we format these synthetic division problems. First draw two lines forming an L shape and then start harvesting out the coefficients. And first I put the three here, then the negative two from the second term, then the negative six from the third term, and finally the negative four from the constant term. So all we care about are the coefficients from the original polynomial. So now we're ready to begin. So the first thing you do is bring down the first number, the three. We write it down below, and then we take our two that we wrote out front and we multiply by this number three. And we write the answer under the next number. And now we're gonna focus our attention on the negative two and six that are lined up and we are going to add them up. Writing the answer down below, four. And now we're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna take this two and multiply by the four and we get eight. Write it right underneath the negative six. And now you can probably guess what we're gonna do with these two numbers. We are gonna add these two numbers. So positive eight and negative six is positive two. Now we're gonna continue with the algorithm. We need to go back to our two over here and we're gonna multiply by the two that we got by adding eight and negative six. And of course we get four. Let's go ahead and add these up now and see what we get here, the number zero. Now what on earth are these numbers? Three, four, two, zero. Well, it turns out they are the coefficients on our answers. The first term in our answer will be 3x squared. And then the second term will be 4x. And then the third term will be plus 2. And then you're probably wondering what that blue zero is at the end. Turns out that's the remainder. You remember in grade school when you did division and you had r1 or r3, that was the remainder? Well, in this particular problem, we had remainder zero. So that means this binomial divides evenly into this polynomial with no remainder. I want you to notice that the degree, which is two on our answer, is one less than the degree on the numerator in our division problems. So here is the final answer. When you take this polynomial and you divide it by x minus two, you get three x squared plus four x plus two. So the obvious question is what happens if there is a remainder? I replace this constant with a negative five, which would cause this to change to negative five. So when you add this up, you have a remainder there. Well, what does that mean about our answer? We still get the three x squared plus four x plus two, but we have an extra part here. We would have a fraction at the end of this. We would have a negative one over x minus two. So now you see, if you have a remainder when you do synthetic division, you're gonna to need to write your answer with a fraction at the end. So this was a very quick primer on how to divide a high degree polynomial by a simple linear binomial. I hope you found this video short and to the point, and you now have an idea of how to do synthetic division. This has been Mr. White with 3 Minute Math.